What's up guys? Today we're going to be showing you how to properly load and secure a very low race car into a trailer. The car we're going to be loading is the C7Z06 race car. It's not only very low, but it also has a very large front splitter that sticks very far forward, which makes it very difficult to get up the ramp. First thing you want to do is make sure that your trailer has some kind of ramp extensions. This one has them built in. You can also buy ramp extensions from race ramps. Next, with the trailer connected, you want to jack up the tongue to decrease the angle of the ramp. Next, you want to make sure that your trailer has a winch. There's three reasons for this. One, you'll be able to load the car by yourself. Two, even if you have a helper, there's no way you can possibly drive up the ramp slow enough to have your spotter watch the splitter to make sure it's not going to hit send you a signal to stop and for you to react and stop. Three, it's very hard on the clutch if you have a manual transmission car to be creeping up into the trailer that slowly. You'll be riding the clutch a lot, doing a lot of undue damage to it. So it's best to just winch it in. Also, you wanna get yourself some small one inch ramps for the front tires to raise up the front of the car so that you can have clearance to hook on the straps and get under there and not be rubbing on the splitter. These were just homemade. I placed these about here for the front tires now let's go get the car and line it up with the trailer. So now we'll hook up the winch, the tow hook. I like to use a microfiber just so I don't scratch the anodizing on the tow hook. Keep it looking nice. And now it's the time to fold in the mirrors. And you can see the car is not perfectly centered, so we can make small steering adjustments as we're going up the ramp. So we'll turn to the right a little bit. Now with just one person using the remote, we can winch the car into the trailer while watching the splitter for clearance to the ramp. Okay, so that's about where you want the car to be with the weight centered over the axles. Now with the big under tray, there's no way to access the lower control arms, the cradle, or anything really on the chassis to tie down onto in the front. The under tray extends all the way back to the radiator, 
So we're gonna use these T-hooks and we're going to go into the frame T-hooks at the jacking points. Now moving on to the rear, I've got these axle loops. They're about 14 inches long. And I loop those around the rear lower control arm. Move the winch, and we'll do the final tighten on the straps. Back to the rear. And if we're going on a long trip, we're gonna recheck that after a few miles. And that's it, we're loaded up. I hope this helps you to learn how to safely load your Corvette in your trailer without doing any damage and protecting expensive carbon fiber splitters. I'll put links in the description below for all the equipment that I use. Make sure to subscribe for future videos.